this video, we'll discuss applications of augmented reality for social skills. Augmented reality technology has been proven to be an effective treatment tool in various healthcare settings. In terms of intervention programs, augmented reality has been used to develop interventions for various neurodevelopmental disorders, such as autism spectrum disorder. Specifically, augmented reality has shown some advantages over more traditional interventions, as it allows for a more realistic delivery of interventions. Therefore, this type of training would allow for greater ecological validity in controlled settings and the skills learnt would be transferable to other areas and contexts of daily life. Augmented reality can be used to promote social skills through a wide variety of interventions. For example, there is evidence of using augmented reality-based self-facial models to promote emotional expression and social skills in adolescents with autism spectrum disorder. Traditional interventions in emotional regulation and teaching of facial expressions have focused mainly on labelling facial expressions in formatted images. This traditional approach only provided the trainee static text and facial images to describe an emotional expression, whereas the augmented reality approach model allows participants to be directly presented with the main learning context and to be assisted in exploring their own facial expressions momentarily. Augmented reality can also be used to promote other social skills, such as helping children to maintain adequate, adequate spatial boundaries, how to respond to conversation initiators, disengage appropriately at the end of an interaction, or recognise potential conversation partners. These objectives are not new, and the tools already exist to promote these behaviours, for example, the social compass. However, Limitations have been found in these interventions, as they are difficult to generalise to contexts outside of the classroom. With augmented reality, mobile applications, such as the one proposed by Tentori and Hayes, children can be supported with social cues during social interactions. On the other hand, applied behaviour analysis, or ABA interventions, especially augmentative and alternative communication-based approaches, are considered very important for promoting communication and reducing behavioural problems. The alternative or augmentative communication system used are frequently based on graphics. However, imagination difficulties experienced by people with autism spectrum disorder or intellectual developmental disabilities may prevent them from using some symbols. Thus, augmentative reality can reinforce communicative symbols by superimposing virtual objects and animations on the real environment screen view. This system can be adapted to each individual, since it can have diverse configurations to increase the options for the caregiver, the teacher or the therapist. Furthermore, augmented reality has been proven effective to enhance the interpretation of the real world in a symbolic and non-literal manner, promoting pretend play skills in children with autism spectrum disorder. Children diagnosed with autism spectrum disorder often show difficulties or delays in the development of symbolic thinking. Through the use of augmented reality systems, which incorporate a mirroring view of reality, they are more likely to engage and in pretend play, sustain play for longer, and keep their play ideas more consistent with their proposed topics. In conclusion, it can be stated that augmented reality can be successfully used to teach social communication skills in a motivating way through a wide variety of presentation formats. Thank you very much for watching.